Greetings, everyone. So basically, I told you before that I was going to uh, provide a teardown video on one of these. This is the Seagate desktop expansion, eight terabyte external hard drive. Um, and I told you I was going to basically do a teardown on this. Uh, it's actually really, really simple. I've done a bunch of these now. So you kind of almost have to damage the case a little bit. I haven't found a way to not. You might be able to use some automotive like trim removal tools to get it out without damaging the case. But for this, I'm just going to use a screwdriver. So if we look on the back of this, uh, there's one side, this side, that's actually welded, seam welded to the case. But this side is actually removable. And if I pull that out with my fingernail, you can actually see that it's, it comes off. So really what we need to do is just put the screwdriver in this edge and try not to get your hand in the way. And then really, that's it, bam. Um, it really is just that simple. <laughs> and then you just move along and you can pretty carefully, this is, my screwdriver is going to mar up the edge of this, but basically we just pull it along. Um, like I said, if you actually hear, well, I'll show you here in a minute. Um, but there's really no way to not damage this, not damage the case a little bit. Oh, there we go. There's really no way to not damage the case a little bit, as you can see. Some of these, um, some of these little hooks will be sort of cracked. There's nothing you can do about that, really. But it's pretty much as simple as find the side that comes off and pull it off. So uh, there's that. Inside we have obviously the hard drive, as you can see, takes up most of the case. And um, it's actually pretty easy to get out. You just basically lift it out. Um, if you can get some purchase on it, you should be able to or turn it over. Yep, there it goes. So case just comes out. Um, you can see like where this hard drive access light is. There's actually just a little plastic thing and there's an LED on the board. So Let's take a look at what we got here. We have just a standard Seagate Barracuda um, eight terabyte unit, obviously three and a half inch. Um, we have little rubber doodads that hold it um, immobilized in the case. They're just like little gel squishy things, kind of neat. And then um, we just have these little uh, little lugs. So you could easily replace the drive in this if you wanted to with something else, although as we discovered from my, uh, my first video where I actually did some speed tests, we kind of discovered that the hardware is probably the limiting factor here and the hard drive is probably not an issue. But if you did kill your hard drive and you wanted to just swap it out with something else, it wouldn't be that hard to deal with. Um, so I'm just taking out these lugs. So, and then from there we have just one screw on the board that holds the board in. Oh, dang it. I don't have a small enough. I'll just use this tiny uh, flat hoop. There we go. Um, one screw that holds the actual, and actually get the appropriate tool for this. Don't do what I'm doing. I don't care because I'm not reusing this, but you might. Um, let's just get. There we go. So there's just one little screw here that holds on the actual board, and then you can literally wiggle the board off and peel off the tape. And there you go, you have your full standard SATA. On the board, pretty simple. As you can see, we have our controller, the power supply is sort of down on this end, um, and you can actually see that these um, these boards were actually made in 2014, so they're pretty old. Um, and yeah, basically use your um, USB 3.0 port. It is actually wired in, so it does actually you know provide something. And then of course the standard SATA there. The LED light is on this end, up towards the top, and that shines into the case. And then you just have some uh, 
aluminum tape. This one, of course, looks like it was actually already opened, which is interesting. Um, the other ones I had did not have this piece of electrical tape holding the two parts of the foil tape together. They just had one piece of foil tape, so this one's clearly been opened before. Possibly refurbished or possibly just repurposed. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just foil tape and the board. So that was pretty simple. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave those below. But uh, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching.